Officer, question. With so many things being forbidden these days, have you given any thought to the question, is there any law or any order I would not follow? Fort Fest dot party, it's gonna be a party. All right, so since someone has left, I will try and see if it's okay for me to go in. I'm not really sure what I'll do in there. It might require quite a bit of waiting to even test the public comment situation. This looks like more than 10. I'm gonna come back outside. Let's count this and see if it's still more than 10. He said there were too many people in here. So, I'm uh, pulling back out until someone leaves, I guess. You know, but again, that's the whole Ridleyo ethos is that, you know, there's plenty of civil disobedience you can do without ever even slightly endangering anyone or being perceived as endangering anyone. So my approach is to uh, go ahead and comply with pretty much any rule and law that I can that the government puts out until it's time to take a stand. And, you know, maybe that stand is just refusing to stop videotaping when you know you've got the law on your side, and I can do that many times and have, but uh, I, you know, I guess the other type of stand would be where they're trying to prevent something vital. Uh, but you know, we each have a different idea of what's vital, and I, I think I pretty much support you doing what's vital for you. You know, and they say they've cut uh, cut sp spending to the bone. Well, you know, they probably spend some money on this parking lot. Maybe they could sell it to the public instead. Officer, question. With so many things being forbidden these days, have you given any thought to the question, is there any law or any order I would not follow? All right, thank you, take care. You know, another thought, if people are barely being allowed into the building anyway, why not just go ahead and sell it? <laughs> I mean, the whole purpose of having a building this big is probably so that you can have, you know, large meetings, right? Do you receive a taxpayer salary yourself no. for your work? All right, fair enough. Take care. Looks like there's room for both of us now. Yes. Hi, how are you? So now I'll go on in. There should be uh, room for me now because uh, two people have just left. Oh, you're going non-public, so this is a... I was just coming to lock the door. This is a secret meeting now, huh? No, not secret meeting. Look up RSA 91, 91A in the RSA book. Non-public. Oh. Wait, so uh, if it's not secret, then I can come in, right? No, non-public. <laughs> Look up the rules. Uh -huh. I'm looking at rules. Okay. Best wishes.
So uh, making public comment seems to be, I guess the best, the best way to put it is impractical. Uh, I was kind of interested in making one just to see if it could be done. And I never even made it into the room except for a few seconds at a time. That does not mean, however, that other people were not able to get in and make public comment. The walk home, it looks like this, partly. But it doesn't all look bad. This is the gun church that I pass. Yeah, the one I showed you a few weeks ago where they have, they have a sign up there that says they're armed. Of course, there are many other things, I'm sure, besides a gun church, but they just happen to, they just happen to carry guns, I guess. Kind of, that's kind of the way it is in this neighborhood. <laughs> Everybody seems to have one. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit ForkFest.party. It's gonna be a party.